Hey everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Radiant wallet and start mining Radiant. Hey everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Radiant wallet and start mining Radiant. I know I say this in every video, but the safest way to find out about these altcoins is by going to mining pool stats. I'll put the link in the description below. From here, if you search for the coin that you're looking for, you can get all the information and be 100% positive that it's official. So if you scroll down, you can find links to the website. So here, radiantblockchain.org. Head over to their official website. From here, you're going to want to click on the wallet icon. Now, once I got in here, I was a little confused. It seems like most of the instructions are for Linux or uh, Mac OS. But if you look on the side here, you'll see releases. You're going to want to click on the latest release. And for Windows, you'll want this setup.exe. Once it's downloaded, like any regular program, you're just going to click on the application. From here, we'll just follow the steps. Once that's complete, you can close it out. It should have left a, an icon on your desktop. Double click the icon. I would stick with uh, connect automatically. You can name it whatever you want to name it. For now, I'll keep it at default wallet. Standard wallet. Create a new seed phrase. As per any other wallet, um, never ever give away your seed phrase and do your best to not store this online. Write down a copy, put it on a piece of paper, put it in a safe, or at least store it somewhere that is not online. After that, it'll ask you to re-input the seed phrase that you just wrote down. Once you've re-entered the seed phrase, it's going to ask you for a password. Again, make sure this is a very secure password, nothing that can be brute forced, nothing that can be easily guessed. Keep it as complex as possible. At this point, I would even click on show just to make sure that you have it entered correctly, because if you don't, you will not be able to get back into this wallet after. Then go ahead and click on next. You can go ahead and click OK on this. And from here, the only thing we really need is our receive address. So you're going to want to copy the receive address. And that'll be what you paste into your miner. Next step is going to be to go get the miner that we're going to use. I'm going to choose BZ miner because it seems to have the best efficiency settings at the moment. So from Google, you can type BZ miner. Uh, I'll go to the official page, version for Windows. Uh, they seem to be having problems with this link. You can try the zip file instead if that doesn't work for you. All right, so since it looks like they're still having issues, uh, let's just use the GitHub instead. Basically the same thing we had to do for the wallet. You go to the latest releases on the side, scroll to the bottom, and then BZ Miner for Windows. Once that's downloaded, extracted, and installed, you're going to want to click on BZ Miner. Scroll down till you find your Radiant batch file. Uh, I created a second one called Radiant Video. Edit that. From here, you're going to want to go back to Mining Pool Stats, and you can see the different places you can mine. Uh, it's never a great idea to have more than 50% at any one pool, so I'll show you how to do this on Wooly Pooly. Go over to the Wooly Pooly website, scroll down till you get to RDX, click on connect. It'll ask you some questions. So PPL is a party pool. This is what you're going to want most of the time, unless you want to choose solo, but it's much more difficult to get solo blocks. I would highly suggest PPL unless you have a lot of hash power. From here, select your region. So for me, that's Canada. Miner is going to be BZ Miner. Wallet address. This is the wallet address that we took from within our Radiant wallet. So again, you go back to your receive address, copy your receive address, paste that into here. Worker name, 
can be whatever you want. For me, I'll choose video test. Copy this string. This is the string down here. Back over to your batch file. So you'd see mine from Wooly Pooly. We'll take this string and replace it from the dash A or not. So the whole string, replace the entire string with what you just copied. And you'll see this has everything you want, including your mining address. Now from here, very, very important, you need to add the overclock settings. So this is what makes mining radiant worthwhile right now. The efficiency is insane. If you let it just mine as is, it'll be taking too much power and it will not be efficient enough to be profitable. So this is the string that I would use for all 30 series cards. I'll have this in the description below. You can just post it after the line. So OC fan. You can set this to whatever you want. I keep mine at 50. That's probably too high to be honest, but I like keeping the cards nice and cool. Lock the core at 1470. Core offset 300. Again, this is for three series cards only. So 3060s, 3070s, 3080s. Lock the memory at 810. And basically just double click on your batch file. Oh, one thing that, if in case you don't know, um, always make sure you go to properties compatibility and set this to run as administrator the overclocks tend to not work properly if you don't do this so again go back to your radiant batch file double click and it should start mining you'll see the offsets and the, the overclocks here So I've let it run for a little bit. As you can see, I'm getting somewhere around 600, 650 at just over 50 watts. And this will get a little bit better. It's not the best it can be because I'm recording right now. And if you're a HiveOS user, I'll walk you through how to get that set up over there also. I'm going to start up by opening up your HiveOS. Set up a new wallet. So add wallet. Coin type is going to be RXD. Your address is going to be the same address from your Radiant Receive. Your wallet name can be whatever you want it to be. I decided to name it Radiant Core. And the source again, since this is a core, you can just add whatever you'd like as a description. Again, I'll just put Radiant Core here. Not going to save as a global wallet and uh, I'm not going to fetch the balance. Click Create. And now you have your Radiant Wallet. After this, you're going to go over to the flight sheets and um, select RXD. Wallet is going to be Radiant Core. Pool is going to be Wooly Pooly. So for me, this is Canada, but you can choose whatever you'd like. So again, you want to do the party pool, so PPLNS. Miner is going to be BZ Miner. And this is very important. You have to set up the minor config. Down in the extra config arguments, it's very important to add these things. It's a little bit different than the Windows version. I'll, again, I'll put this in the description below. So you're going to want to enter them exactly like this. And if you make a mistake anywhere, if you add something that shouldn't be there, it'll read it out and it'll tell you there's a format error. So just make sure you copy and paste it exactly as is. Again, 300 is going to be for your three series cards. 200, 250 for two series cards, and 100 seems to work well for one series cards. Now apply changes. Enter the name of this flight sheet. I'm going to call it again Radiant Core. Create flight sheet. And that's it. So you just select this as the flight sheet. If you were to go back to your workers, select a worker, flight sheet, and hit the rocket ship button. If you found this useful at all, please consider liking and subscribing. It greatly helps this channel to grow and get the information out to more people. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck and stay profitable.